This is a progress bar I came across on CodePen, and as you can see, it's done with div elements. So I thought I'd redo it using a progress element. So progress, and we're going to give it an ID, which we're going to need later. And then we're also going to give it a value, because we don't want it in this indeterminate state. And let's say 5 at the start, and then a maximum, we want it to go to 100%. And then we're going to have an output for this progress. So for attribute. And this is it for the markup for now. And next thing for um, the styling, I'm first going to compact this to a single color list. And the next thing I'm going to do is remove this linear gradient mixing because most of the stuff was either never needed or it hasn't been needed for five years. So remove that stuff. And the next thing, um, set some styles for the uh, progress um, when it has a volume. And also some styles for the loader. So loader, and we're going to set the font here, and 2.5 and also font family. And now for the progress, we're going to set a width. 12.5 ends. As for the height, we're going to uh, set it here because we're going to be using it more than once. And we want to be consistent. So um, height, this is going to be H. All right. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is create two mixins. So the first one is going to be uh, for the bar in the back. And the second one is going to be for the value, that blue thing there. Uh, so we're first uh, going to set a border, none, so that we make it consistent across browsers, because uh, by default it isn't. Then we're going to have a border radius, which is going to be half the height. All right. Uh, now the next thing that we're going to do is set a background. And let's see, where's our background? It's right here. So... Um, Going back, setting our background. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is set the volume. And this is going to be another mix-in. Uh, same thing with the border. Border radius we're going to set here to inherit. And here, the background, we're going to use uh, this uh, color list for the gradient. So it's going to be a linear gradient uh, from left to right, so 90 degrees. And it's going to use that color list. All right, um, next thing that we're going to do is actually a set to actually call these mixins. And for Firefox and Edge, we call them directly on the progress element. But uh, for WebKit browsers, we have a pseudo element. So it's WebKit uh, progress bar. So um, here we're going to um, call the mixing and here the bar mixing and then for the value we have pseudo elements for all browsers so we're going to um, copy paste this stuff and copy paste it once more and um, last three are going to be for the volume so um, And this is uh, for WebKit browsers, the volume. For Firefox, it's uh, called bar, this uh, pseudo element for the volume. And for Edge, it's just the uh, fill. All right, now let's do a bit in terms of layout. So um, this is going to be a uh, body and loader and the styles that we're going to set are related to layout so display flex and we set them here and uh, we tweak the alignment and um, we made this more uniform and now 
let's also set uh, on the body we're going to set a height that's 100 viewport height units all right now a few more styles for uh, when the output isn't empty uh, at this point it is empty so not empty and we're going to set a padding bottom that's going to be 1m and we're also going to have an after content and this is going to be percent and now let's see how this would look if uh, the whole damn thing wasn't empty so let's move on to the markup and set 5 here now let's go back to the CSS and here for the loader let's also set flex direction and this is going to be colon reverse because you want them in reverse order as well and also we're going to set a color that's going to be the first color of our list so yeah this is it uh, for the css now let's reset this and make it zero and moving on to the javascript um, the original javascript uses set interval we're going to be using request animation frame and at first we're going to set a couple of constants so the progress bar is going to be uh, document get element by id and this is going to be p and now we're going to take this again and for the output so output and this is going to be a query selector for and we're going to be using an attribute selector so uh, for uh, now the next thing that we're going to do is create a function load which we're going to uh, call later and this is going to take an argument which is zero by default and uh, here we're going to set uh, the progress value and the output value so um, progress volume equals and here we're going to have output and this is going to equal t and then we're going to have request animation frame a load and we need to bind it to this and increment t and we only want this to happen as long as t so only if t is smaller than the progress maximum all right so uh this works uh smaller or equal um something else we can do to make it slower is set a k here and um, we're going to also have a t maximum value which is going to be uh, this k times this progress max and we're going to be using this t maximum here and we're only going to uh, reset the value if uh, t modulo k, k uh, is uh, 0 and this is going to be uh, t over k in this case so yeah this is it for today i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any questions or suggestions drop them down in the comments below and until next time